What is up guys and welcome to a Game of Thrones video guys today we're gonna be talking about Jon Snow being a Targaryen in Game of Thrones and how in the finale of season 6 this is gonna be revealed now if you're watching this you're obviously a pretty hardcore Game of Thrones fan now for those of you that watch the TV show and haven't read the books this is gonna be a little bit more Hard to follow considering they haven't expanded much on Robert's Rebellion. Now, Robert's Rebellion obviously happened before the start of the show. So, what happened is Lyanna Stark and Rhaegar Targaryen are Jon Snow's parents. That's the theory. Because Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark kind of had this crush thing on each other. Rhaegar Targaryen won a big jousting, big battle match, whatever you want to call it. And instead of choosing to give the crown of roses to his wife he just kind of was like you know what why forget you Lyanna Stark is gorgeous I'm gonna give it to her so he does and then you know somewhere a little bit after that the war happens you know Robert's rebellion becomes a thing and Rhaegar Targaryen just a little bit before that had snuck off with Lyanna and you know they were kind of just snuck off and obviously Lyanna Stark is Ned Stark's sister so as you can see on the show with Bran's flashbacks there is flashbacks of Ned going to find his sister you know going up to the Tower of Joy which I'll get into in a little bit before I get to that I'm gonna talk about how Rhaegar Targaryen left his best men to defend the Tower of Joy now the Tower of Joy is obviously where Rhaegar sent Lyanna during the war to, you know, try and keep her safe. And he put his best guardsmen to protect. If you were going into war, why would you leave your best guardsmen to protect a woman? You know, obviously that's what we would do nowadays. But back in those days, you know, you want to protect the king. You know what I mean? You want to protect um, the bloodline of the Targaryens. So... Obviously, she has some sort of importance, not just that she is, you know, Rhaegar's new lover or whatever, okay? Lyanna Stark, it is said in the book that when Ned found her in the Tower of Joy, which we haven't got to on the TV show yet, in Bran's flashback, we cut it off right after Ned had defeated the best of the swordsmen and was getting to go into the Tower of Joy. It cut off before then. But however, in the books, Ned goes to the tower and finds Lyanna there laying in a bed of blood, which is word for word from the books. And she tells Ned, she goes, promise me, Ned, that is quote for quote, uh, something. The book doesn't say what it is. Now, if you really think about it, back in the medieval days or whatever, you know, era you want to call uh, Game of Thrones to be set in, childbirth would be a very bloody thing. Um, you know, it wouldn't be all, you know, sedatives and roses like it is nowadays, okay? it is. It would be very bloody and very painful. Therefore, a lot of the theorists think that Lyanna Stark's bed of blood was Jon Snow's childbirth because... They also think that what Lyanna promises to Ned is she knows that Rhaegar was defeated. She knows that the Lannisters have taken over and they want to kill every Targaryen that they can find. So why would she want to reveal that Jon is a Targaryen? She wants to keep this secret. She wants to keep Jon safe. So she would send Ned home. With John, or not, not Ned home. She would send John home with Ned to keep him safe. And she would tell Ned to promise her to keep John safe by hiding his identity. Now, this makes so much sense if you consider the fact that Ned is the most honorable person in all of Game of Thrones. Most honorable person. So, why would he cheat on, cheat on his wife with, as the TV show says, it, a whore house and a, uh, a whore in a brothel? It just doesn't make sense. You know, Ned would never cheat on his wife, but he would honor his sister's promise by taking Jon Snow in as one of his own, even though he's really Jon Targaryen. Now, if you've never heard one of these theory b videos before, this will probably blow your mind, because when somebody first told me this, it kind of blew my mind. They, <laughs> Lyanna Stark, Stark resembles ice. Targaryen, Rhaegar Targaryen, resembles fire. You put those two together, 
you have a song of ice and fire in Jon Snow. Boom, there it is. Roll credits, you know. <laughs> John is the song of ice and fire. If he, the parentage is really true, and there's more evidence based on this fact that the show is always teasing about John's parentage. Like when before Ned went off to King's Landing, he said, "When when I see you again, we'll talk about who your mother was." So obviously, she can't just be a whore in a brothel house because she's ma he's making such a big deal about telling John who his mother is. And they always tease about Jon Snow being a bastard. Like in the last episode, the Battle of the Bastards, there was so much emphasis when Ramsay was talking to him about calling Jon a bastard. Why would the show put so much emphasis on Jon calling him, you know, a bastard, making fun of him for being one? Why would they put so much emphasis on making sure that Jon is an important character by resurrecting him after dying? Why is it that he, you know... The White Walkers are the, really the main, main villain. So why is it that John is the one tackling the main, main villain? Because he's the most important character in the story. He is the story. He's a song of ice and fire. It, it just makes so much sense for this to be true. And I believe that next episode in the casting for, you know, next episode, the, the cast and who is playing what role, there's an actor, I forgot his name, but I'll... Put a picture on the screen now as him playing young Ned Stark. So we're obviously going to go back to this flashback. We're going to see Jon Snow's true parentage. Hopefully, hopefully. You know, this theory has been around ever since the beginning of Game of Thrones. And you know, one thing that a lot of these theory videos forget to bring up is when George R. R. Martin, the author of uh, Game of Thrones or A Song of Ice and Fire, was talking to Dan, of Dave, Dan and Dave, the makers of the show... Before Dan and Dave was allowed to make the show, George made them answer one question. And that question was, who is Jon Snow's mother? Why would he ask that question if it wasn't important? It just makes so much sense. 90% of you know the hardcore fans believe this theory. It's just the show hasn't paid it off yet. And I think that will happen in tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but Sunday night's season finale. Uh, it's definitely going to pay off that Jon Snow is Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark's son, revealing that he is a Song of Ice and Fire, revealing that he is the most important character in the show, and uh, just revealing what uh, us fans have wanted for such a long time, just to know for a fact that he is the son of Lyanna Stark and Rhaegar Targaryen. So, you know, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, if any of you guys are actually my subscribers watching now, I know this is kind of a weird video, me making a TV show video, because normally my channel has a lot to do with gaming. However, I am going to start doing Game of Thrones videos. So if you enjoyed this video, if you want to know more about Game of Thrones theories, more about just Game of Thrones in general, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to like to support me to get this out. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll quit rambling. I will see you guys in the next video.